Hey, hi everyone. Today we'll see how we can use Python as an ETL tool. First, we'll know what is an ETL. ETL is an abbreviation for extract, transform, and load. The first step in ETL process is extract, where we extract data from multiple sources like flat files, REST APIs, CRMs, and more. Then the next step is transform, where we transform the data according to the business requirements or logic. The third step is to load the transformed data into data warehouse or target system. Also, it is a must-have skill for all the data engineers out there. Now, let's extract the Excel data, add a simple transformation, and then we'll load the data into SQL Server using Python. So, let's start doing it. For that first, we need to import two modules. That is pandas is to create data frame. And we need SQL Alchemy. This is to create a connection between Python and SQL Server. So we'll create a data frame. Data frame equal to in pandas. There is a function called read Excel. We have to pass the location here. So go to the Excel file. So the Excel file that we'll be using for the demo I have employee ID, first name, last name, and salary. So go to file info and copy the location. Go to Python, paste the location here. Make sure in location you replace backslash with double backslash because the interpreter will consider it as an escape character if you have single backslash. So let's start replacing it. Now we'll print the data frame and we'll see. Here you can see our Excel data got loaded here. Now we'll do some simple transformation. We'll add one column called full name where we can cut in a first name and last name. So add the full name here, column name, full name. Equal to a for pass first name, first name then a space, then last name. Now we'll execute this file and see. Here you can see full name got added. Now we'll see how to load this data frame into SQL Server. For that, first we need to create an engine. So here I have a syntax like how to create an engine. So paste it here. So we are using SQL Alchemy here and create engine function. Here uh, we are building connection between Microsoft SQL Server and Python, you have to pass server name here. Mine is local server, so just put it, put a dot here, pass a database name here. Have DWH, I can, sh I'll show it here. Here you can see, this is DWH. Then the driver would be SQL Server native client 11.2. Then to load the data frame to SQL Server. We have to use two SQL function. In name, we have to pass table name. I'll say team employee. Then in con, we have to pass the engine. So our engine is engine only. If you want the index to be loaded like 0 to 9, uh, put it as true. I don't want this 0 to 9 to load in SQL Server. So I'll, I'm putting it as false. We have another parameter called if exist where we can pass fail, replace, or append. If you use fail, the two SQL method checks if the DIM employee table presents in the database. If it's there, it throws an error. If it's not there, it creates the table and will load the data. If you use replace, the two SQL function checks if the DIM employee table is present in database. If it's there, it will 
delete the table from the database and create a new one and load this data if you use append it will do incremental load so anyhow we don't have a table called dmapro in our database so we'll use file so we'll run the file So this process got finished. We'll go here and we'll see. So there's no table. We'll just refresh it. Here you can see the table got created. We'll just view the data. Here you can see our data got successfully loaded from Excel to SQL Server.